All right, let's see. Service gossip. Ooh, moves into the game. Uh, part four. Uh, I could totally go to the surface. If I just bought one more thing of fuel, but I don't have a mirror catch box, so it's worthless. Uh, I think I brought this up last time, but I wonder if you could bring back stuff for the Fathom King piecemeal like you can with the curator. I hope so, because that might- I feel like it would help. Just a little bit, so I don't have to carry around, like, all that shit. Okay, let's see what goes on here. Uh, seem to conspiracy. Okay, hunger pull. Great. How wonderful. Court report. I've lost a heart. Well, I'm glad I, uh, gave up all of those secrets. Uh, ooh, plastic mushroom run. Fuel. Fuel's cheap here. Fucking prisoners, honey. Hmm. Such a view. No, uh, no coffee beans. Shit. Well, shit. Well, shit. Uh, I'll just fill up on fuel. Probably should have gotten some supplies too, but it's fine. And we go on our merry way. Because by the time we get to the Isle of Cats, where we need at least ten uh, things of don't do it, I see you down there, I saw that little light, where we need at least ten free spaces in our cargo, we will definitely be using up ten things of fuel by the time we get there. Because that's how it roll. Alright. Intelligence. Experiment with your strange catch. Switch it for a live specimen. Hmm. Do we want to try that? A mist of spores rises in the distance. What was it the old sailors say? Give a catch to the other shroom and you'll get, what was it? Luck? Life? Let's find out. New growth. Within the hour, purple mycelium spreads throughout the flesh, colonizing your catch with a new vascular system. Another hour, and the catch begins moving again. In the third hour, it starts rhyming, before it begins composing couplets. You whack it in a jar and store it in your hold. Okay. Something wriggling and peculiar. It's safely confined, probably. Probably. It's just... It's just fine. It's fine. Alright. Uh... Well, now that that's- oh, nope, sorry. Don't have any shops. Let's go. Around the horn. To the Melting Isles. Mangrove College. Where we would be blindly fumbling around in the, uh, swamps. Looking for a Pakian. If we didn't decide, you know, it's probably just better to do the, the chess thing. Ugh. It's funny because in the in the process of doing that chess thing, we we fulfill the role for the Fathom King that finding all the colors for the curator did. It's the end of a or the end of the oldest thing of its kind. And I guess the principles itself is the oldest coral, maybe? Oldest island down here? I don't know. But it's a question of what is the prince, the principality, as they called it. College. Let's see. Pick up a passenger. To where? Shady, sh shady short. Oh dear. Tomb colonist. Eat, drink, be merry. Got a supplies. Into the wisp ways. Hmm. File for report, first of all. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. It's all these water noises makes you have to pee. Anyway, where were we? Uh, 
to gather supplies, each drink be merry. Let's gather supplies. Fuck. Well, that was fucking useless. Okay, it's all for now. Pick up a passenger. Another checkered character? Okay. So much for our idea of having ten empty bag slots by the time we get back. That went out the window. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just jettison some stuff. Not like we're not gonna be getting, you know, some a shit ton of sick ass fuel from the Admiral to, for all of these report reports. It's gonna be awesome. Just you wait. What the fucking move it, Island? I'm I'm. What's the word? I'm floating here. Don't text and boat, kids. Don't do it. Perhaps not. Let's go down to the Isle of Cats. Worst comes to worst, we'll sell this fuel. I don't know how much it goes for here, but why not? Poor Cavendish. I almost missed you. I'm looking at this trade... this trade route. Alright. Let's see. Uh, how was the venture? Still a rubbery man? He isn't? Are you quite sure? The lady in the cages rubs her cheek. Maybe that part comes later. I shall have to make a note. Oh, dear. Urchins, again? I'll tell the sisters to prepare the baths. Well, shit. What did you give me? Oh, two supplies, three casks of mushroom wine, and 500 echoes! And five casks of sapphire. Jesus Christ. Um. Alright, well. Oh, ah, there is. I'll have to throw away the wine. I'm sorry, girly, but. Thank you. You have a reward sent to your ship. Don't worry, I asked the sisters to pick. I can't soon remember what's edible and what isn't these days. Sorry it gives a sudden start and demands. Can you fry wine and batter? I don't see why not. Girl, I like the way you think. Uh, she stalks hurriedly out of the room, muttering about asking the abbeyus. An occurrence. Your Isle of Cats, Lady of the Cat Cages patronage. Quality is now four. Alright. No longer have that. Down in Rose Garden. For you is a garden washed with blood, a sea of petaled crimson. They say these particular exiled roses are of a variety crossbred with a flower from hell. Damn, that's fucking metal as shit. That would explain the stench of brimstone underneath the sweetness. Winding paths lead to irregular rows of cages, each covered with tangles of thorn and vine. Some of the prisoners inside the cages call out to you, others mutter to themselves or weep. Few simply stare, hopeless and silent. Good, you're here, Zarya snap snips a rose head with her shears. I like a new addition to the garden. Could you could I borrow one of your crew? Well, have one, really. I doubt you want them back after. Refusal will lock you out of his quest. Offered her the irrepressible cannoneer. Offer her a crewman. What shops do we have here? Shit, I need fucking... Okay, that's gonna be a thing for another time. I need ten empty things in my cargo hold. I'm not gonna give her any officers. I'm gonna give her the nameless crewman. It'll be fine. Uh, can we get a report, report going on, please? Alright. Do you have anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, shit. Well, pfft. Okay. 
We'll come back later, I promise. Alright, I've got- I've got a list of things to do. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Where can I sell these? Oh, okay. I'm looking up at that particle thing. It's from the island here. Where can I sell these sapphires for quite the price? I think polytherm. Oh, no! Shellinate takes them for 99 each! Get out of here, shark. Alright, so we'll go up to the Shellinate. First we're gonna go down to Varkus, though. See if this uh, wax wind has receded. And we can get our goddamn mirror charm. Okay, I see fog. That sometimes doesn't bode well. On surface... On the surface, the sun still warms the earth, or so one assumes. Oh! Jellyfish! Jellyfish! Jesus! Get out of here! A buttery bloom of light on the southern horizon. You approach Varkus, the mirrored city. Jack and Andy stack. Alright, here we go. Return to Varkus. Uh. Uh. Pilot port report? Alright. Not all is well. Observe and accord. Oh dear. Smiles as she clearly remembers you. The blue cloaked guard walks you through. Walk in the light of myrrh. Uh, da -da -da -da. I need to continue our explorations. The hospital, the guardhouse. I'm going to talk to the temple. Ask for these streams of smoke. Sun seers. Uh, okay, so the temple tower pierces through the city's heart, taller than the other four towers, which stand each of the cardinal points. All around the temple sprawls the sacred district. Vine covered stone shrines, still ponds glowing with algae. algae. I always want to say algae for some reason, although I've been told it could be either way. And flash fin carp, priests in white, their wrists heavy with metal chains. There are no mirrors in the Temple of Mirror. The rest of the city has to make do with mirrored light and the reflection. But Mirror's most sacred place is filled with hundreds of lamps and lit candles of hard packed phosphorescent fungus. Listen to mantras. Um. It seemed like something other priests might understand if you had a mind to tell them. Speak to priest slash priestess in Varkus after having menaces a dream of smoke. Let's do it and hope this helps. The sun priest listens to you describe your dream with glowing disquiet. Were you not taught to guard yourself when you sleep in a room full of mirrors? He asks, then curses. Should priests curse in temples? <laughs> I cannot believe the Tamas are so ignorant. Yeah, Tamas is their name for me, because according to them, I have no name, as my name was eaten by the darkness in which I tread. It's all very fun. You assure him that you are indeed quite ignorant, and wait patiently for him to finish another more inventive round of cursing. There are dreadful powers in mirrors, is his unhelpful conclusion. Yes! Uh, he gives you a charm of bloodied snakeskin and scraps of paper written in an angular, unfamiliar script, and tells you to hang on to it upon the nearest, to hang it upon the nearest mirror before you sleep. First tower bell is sounded. All right, I've got a mirror charm. Fucking awesome. Okay. Uh, I guess I can come back for another one of these. Whew. How much more will they pay for this treasure? Oh yeah. They pay, um, a thousand for this, which is why it's ill-advised to bring it for the Apachian thing. Uh, Shrine of Myrrh. They don't have an unlimitable relic. Okay, well, listen to the mantras. Why not? I've lost a terror. That's good. And a bass relief? I've gained terror. Uh, I'll listen to the mantras again. There we go. And then I'll leave. Entertainments, the hospital. 
Why not? Are you feeling a little fever? Do you hope to learn medical secrets? Perhaps you just enjoy the moans and flushed faces of the sick and suffering. Oh boy, do I. The word is locked several times over. The mirrored room. And door faced and the dour faced nurse looks uncomfortable when you mention it. I almost want to see. That is where we keep the mirror, Mad, she says with a shudder. The mirror is whispered to them, and instead of going to the sun priests, they whispered back. And you just abandon them in a locked room? We don't despise them. They are given food and water. Tending the mirror, Mad, uses up almost as much fuel as Mir's temple, because they can only be lit with direct lamplight. We don't let them. We don't dare let them near any mirrors. Oh, she shudders again. The mirror and Mad are worse than the Tomas. They no longer serve Mir, but other powers. Those that speak in dreams and visions. She refuses to say anything else. Okay, I'm gonna leave. The inn. Oh no, I have to I'm sleep. The kitchens, courtyards, the streams. Uh, I don't want to use the mirror charm. So, all right. Once again, your dreams are full of whispering, glittering, smoke mirrors, vapors of coil and reflections, warping shapes. Okay. Uh, Dawn and Farkas. I'm a go. It's been fun, but I'm a go. Shit, I didn't look at any of the shops. It's fine. Um, alright. Shellinate. We got a mirror charm. Mirror charm is one of the things we get. We got, uh, Varric now. Which is... Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Uh, behind your mirror, V names Varric the color of shallow sleep. I'm sensing a theme here. Anyway. We got that shit out of the way. So next time we go over to Vanderbite, which will, uh, apparently be soon. Because we gotta go up to Frostfound to get the goddamn strategic information. Whew! Whew! Okay. Maybe... By the time we pass... Back... Towards the uh, Isle of Cats, we will have... Ten spaces open for whatever this lady wants to give me. What are you? <gasps> what the fuck? Glorious, what are you? Glorious Dreadnought. Ah, oh, shit. Spend them a story. Lost five terror. That's great. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know where we are. We're by King Eater Castle. Sea of Statues. Ah! Another golden dreadnought! We're leaving! I fucking- I've- I've flown through clo too close to the sun! Okay. Hey, Shellinate. You're looking good, you weird turtle shell. I've got some sapphires for you! It's great time! Okay, well, let's just go to Porn Port. Shore leave at- No, we're not doing that. Hmm, show off a hunting trophy. We don't have one of those. Trade a hunting trophy for an outlandish artifact. Tales for the Bone. Let's see what that says. Oh no, we don't have that. Okay, so, hmm. Obtained a doomed monster hunter. Oh no, okay. Yeah. I know what a doomed mon monster hunter is. That is, it's actually a type of ammunition for a special type of gun. Uh, <laughs> not kidding. That's actually a thing. So, let's see where we are. I can hear whispering. It's a very clever game. You must think you're very clever. Alright, we're gonna go back to the Isle of Cats. Because, wait a minute. Shops, you don't sell fuel here. Oh boy. Okay, well, it's been great. We're gonna go back to the Isle of Cats because we definitely have more than... Uh... Ten bag spaces left, and I'm actually starting to become concerned. At the... About our lack of fuel. 
Me a few of the Isle of Cats, right? The ground here is the eye, so we don't want to get involved in that. Okay, we're back. Do you sell fuel? Okay, you sell fuel. That's good. Just before all this going. Um... Offer her a prisoner instead. Oh yeah, we don't have any prisoners, so offer her a crewman. Memories of Salt and Sea. Hmm, she'll do nicely, won't you? Yes, I think so, yes. Uh, have you had a little accident, my dear? No matter, the, f the flowers like the ammonia. Oh shit. Contenter. Well, fuck. Okay. Uh, ten supplies. That was it? That was it? I fucking gave up another human being for supplies? Uh, Leopold has a particular fascination with the surface. He still thinks of it as home in some ways. Endearing, isn't it? She doesn't wait for your answer. Personally, I've drunk memories of so many homes I couldn't pick a particular one out of the lot. Tricky things. So it does make him easier to buy birthday presents for. I have muddled- have I muddled this up? Did I say set up a meeting with the king for you? Didn't I? Well, I did. Jesus Christ. Girl, your your inability to speak is not helping my inability to read. Uh, some of the memories from the surface. It's not his birthday exactly, but you want to make a good impression. Okay. Uh. Oh. So now I have to get two mirror catch boxes. All right. Well, now that I've given up uh, an actual human being for, let me repair my ship a little bit, just so we got some breathing room. No, stop. Just so we got some breathing room. Uh, now that I've given up, oh God, what are you? Could I? Why are you? No. Nope. We're just gonna go about our merry way. Are you stuck? You seem, uh, stuck and broken, so I'm just gonna leave you? There we go. Alright. I've already, uh, sacrificed one person to a fate worse than death. So... No, fuck you, I just repaired that shit. Ugh. Screw you. I'm going to con Shadow. <laughs> the, who else is here? No one! Con's Shadow. Woohoo. We're gonna put, put on here. Do you have shops? You do. Ooh. This is why I buy the empty mirror catch boxes. Mail breaker. Ooh. Fuel efficiency. This is an aft add-on. Um. A mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes. This is the other uh, Viric thing we could have gotten, but we had to make- we would have to make it ourselves. Uh, so let's buy two mirror catch boxes, and it'll be fine. Let me adjust my seat. We can buy Stygian Ivory here, and then bring it to Polythrone for three Echoes each. A profit of three echoes each, that is. But for now, let's just compile a poor report. Conniving, debauching, speechifying, all the good stuff. Uh, acquire a doomed monster hunter. Element of dawn? We will not be acquiring any elements of dawn, hopefully, in this run through, because uh, dawn machine equals not very nice person. Wait a minute. A 
Estival's right there. Estival is another way... Fuck it. Estival is another way to get um, sunlight into a mirror catch box. And you don't have to spend 22... Oh! Ah, fuel to do it! Ah, but we'll be spending as much fuel trying to get around from these assholes! Yeah, yeah, take that. I went behind you. You're too big to move around. You can't maneuver. You're a fatty. I sure showed him. <laughs> uh, we'll lose him at the uh, the Fathom King. <coughs> at the Fathom King's hold. And it'll be fine. And then we'll loop around back to a steeple. Even though there's a big fuck-off black uncharted territory in the middle. But it'll be fine. I don't know. Hold. Prepare your ship. No, we don't want to spend our thing on that. So, ascend, descend into the audience with the Fathom King. And we will ask a boon of the Fathom King. Fog supplies. Fuck. It's fine. The more supplies you have, the better. Prepare your ship. Okay, perhaps not. We'll leave now. It'll be fine. And then we'll turn around. Supplies is good. Because we can use that for fuel in case of emergency. And we're going to a steeple where I think we can get yet more supplies. So... <clears throat> Our tower is rising, though. That's not good. I think it was. I think my crew freaked out when, um, I sacrificed that guy, or when it wasn't a guy, when I sacrificed that lady to, um, to the Rose Garden. Oops. Who'd, who'd have thunk the crew would have an adverse reaction to that? And you think that they'll fucking be used to it down here. All right, we got a straight shot to a steeple. Now we enter the Calumies. There's a wild and glorious scent in the air, a place of light. Why do Zaylers fear this place? Because it will burn them alive, that's why. Alright, Leslie's Harbor. Sun! Fill a mirror catch box. Gather supplies. Go beachcombing. Compile a port report. Okay. Uh, fill a mirror catch box. Uh, is this really sunlight? Then open the box wide, let it brim. Warning, this may increase your wounds. You have one wound. At three wounds, you died. Oh, shit. Alright, the light. It's pretty. Uh, you fill the box success successfully, but the sunlight has lit a fire in your bones. You struggle back to the ship and wait while the fever subsides. Be wary. This is true sunlight, and it can be unpredictable. Death to those who spent too long here below. Alright. I'm gonna go one. Okay. There we go. I'm not gonna risk it any further. I've got a port report. Right? Yes. We're gonna go back to the Fathom King. See if we can drop this off. Uh, if not, then we'll sell it. Like, if we have to... Um... Oh, I can't have audience with the Fathom King because I don't have a Z-story! Shit. I don't have any more Z-stories, I don't think. No, I don't! Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Okay, well, hmm. I'm fucking selling it then. <laughs> Oops. My bad.
What a weird, uh, turn of events that there's no medical supplies here at the hospital. Uh... Okay. I don't know what to make of that. It's exploding. <laughs> Go back to Khan's heart and we'll find that nice little lady who owns that shop. And she'll sell us some violet. Only 77 echoes. <laughs>